me ask you a question, Ted. Do you see anything wrong here? No. We got no money to shoot! Oh, it's not. Stuck in your head! What's up, guys? Hey, thanks for coming back. So what are we going to do while we wait on our motor? Got connecting rods stuck on fucking evergreen ship somewhere off the California coast. I don't know. Who knows? But my rods are on back order, so no motors for now. Reminder, shirts available. If you like, come check it out. Link in the description below. We're going to hide some of this engine wiring harness that we've got. I'm sorry body wiring harness. So I've already started on this somewhat, but if you remember, I have the Terminator Pro Dash and all that wiring coming through the hole behind the intake, but we have some that has to come up to the front, like for the fans. So on this side is the fans and boost controller. On this side, I've got headlights, horn, and the primary trans fan. So what we're going to do to clean this up a little bit more is we're gonna run both harnesses through the fenders. So I'd already started on this a little bit ago, but I also didn't think, I didn't shoot any of it because I didn't think that my motor would take this long. So I have three different sizes. I've got half inch, three eighths, and quarter inch of the same type of loom that comes on the Terminator X harness. Um, and it replaced that like store-bought bullshit that looks like this. So on the front of the car, it was one inch ID of that convoluted bullshit that went from the bulkhead up here up to the front for the headlights where the headlights and horns split off all the way across for the other side in here, in here running across after it splits off for the trans cooler fan there's four wires in here it's a quarter inch and there was one inch uh split loom on here so that had to go it, it's so much cleaner and better other than okay so for a one inch there it's cleaned up significantly and then maybe once i get that cleaned up maybe i fix the paint so it looks like I forgot to film some stuff, but just imagine I'm using a hole saw right before mocking up this uh, grommet. Next I'm going to pull the whole headlight wiring harness back and then run that through the hole, then install the grommet. The whole thing's going to go through and it's both the driver's side and the passenger side with the bulbs still in their sockets. I made sure to get a hole that was large enough to pass the sockets and the bulbs through, although the sockets were the larger part of that. Next I'm going through hole by hole on that grommet. There's six holes for the rivets and doing them one by one. By the way, these split, these two piece uh, grommets are terrible and I really don't think I'll ever be using them again. We got the headlight wiring harness back run through and plugging it all in. Now it's time to move on to the other side, pulling that harness out and using a step bit to make the hole. Before I pass the harness through the fender, I'm going to put that one piece grommet on and then start pulling through the harness for the fans and boost controller. I'm going to end up doing something similar to what I did on the driver's side, which is place the grommet and then drill one hole at a time for those rivets. The smaller grommet here only uses four rivets uh, versus the larger grommet for the driver's side which used six total. And then I'm gonna go ahead and plug the connector for the boost controller back in. I added a two pin weather pack connector for both the boost controller and the trans cooler. Um, and while I'm in here cleaning things up, I might as well clean up all the, the oil and dust that's inside the engine bay there. 
nothing really special here. I just used simple green that I borrowed from work and some napkins because I'm all out of shop towels. The subframe rails and the inner fender wells and strut towers really were not that dirty. However, the engine cross member and steering linkage was pretty bad. The, the front main seal on the Freedom motor never sealed that great. It always had a little bit of a leak, so naturally those parts were a little bit dirtier than the rest. So like you see there, there is a roughly one inch hole uh, just below the steering column. And I'm not sure what that's for. Maybe it was for uh, originally for the clutch, but I don't know. So we're gonna go ahead and seal that up. And then again, four rivets on this deal, drill that last one, climb out, and then get that rivet from the other side. Here we are, we got a nice pan shot showing the completed job and how I secured the harness on the underside of those fender wells and another pair of grommets that didn't make the, uh, the original shot. Just showing how, how much uh, cleaned up this harness is. With the nose on the car, I really don't think you'll see much of the wiring harness now that this job is done. So, and now we pan, switch over to the passenger side and do another pan shot again. Grommet and some P clamps, some cushion clamps to hold that harness up and away from the tire. Right, so like you just saw, it really wasn't a hard job. I would have gotten it done a little bit faster, but uh, waiting for parts and I had surgery. So, I'm all better, but uh, yeah, it just took a little bit of time. It really wasn't hard. All right, so that being said, I got a couple more things I want to do before I get the motor back in the car. All right, stay tuned. We'll get the car back up and running real soon.